Happy Vlogmas Day 7! <sighs> Happy Vlogmas Day 7! On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me PMDD. Happy Vlogmas Day 7, girls. <laughs> girls, my period is coming. Good morning! Girls, I'm gonna be honest, not much has happened today. Actually, apart from the fact that I got an absolutely wicked advent calendar present from me mam's- Oh! Uh, sorry! From me mam's advent calendar. Waterstones gift card. Yeah, I am elated by this. Do you want to know why? Sorry, I was just looking underneath it. Why am I elated by this? I love buying books, don't I? You fuckers, I love buying books. Also this morning, my iPad case arrived. I ordered this iPad case end of November. Or like, mid to end end of November but it it didn't uh what I didn't realize that it was coming from Germany because I don't read so that came this morning very excited oh hello turn off um look at that that's a right stunner isn't it it's from burger 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 and my favorite thing about it apart from it being gorgeous is that it has a little um base to keep your apple pen if you're that way inclined and you order an apple pen, which I did. I did, girls. And you can stand it up, which will be perfect for when I'm watching all the stuff that I decide to watch when I need a bit of brain rot time, which is quite often at the moment. Um, I need to charge said... Oh, my toe! I need to charge said apple pen. But I'm bloody elated with this. This is an early Christmas present from Michael because he was going to get it for me. But then obviously I got my iPad way before Christmas because, hello, it was a necessity. <laughs> so, yeah. Cheers, Michael, for that. Need to open the chocolate advent. Vlogmas has taught me a new sort of restraint. Normally, like, everyday life, before I've done Vlogmas, the minute I wake up, the second, the moment that my eye pops open, I'm at the advent calendar. But recently, I've been holding out so I can do it on camera. Today, I didn't even vlog with no makeup on. I thought I've subjected you to enough torture the past few days. Oh, look at that little snowflake. Little snowflake. Let's see. <laughs> Comments on TikTok. Little snowflake. Oh my god, it's a star. And I'm wearing my star jumper. They must have known. Mmm. I need to brush my teeth. They're so yellow today. Anyway, my friend Lydia's coming round in a minute. Just gonna gossip. Oh, what's the two things that run through my brain? What? What are the two things that run through my veins? Dr. Pepper and gossip. It's what keeps me going. I need to go to the post office today. And I also, because I need to return a parcel and send a parcel. And I have therapy tonight at 7pm. Oh, sorry. That's delicious to me. Like going really late when there's no traffic. And then, oh my god. I haven't had therapy in two weeks, so I'm gonna cry my fucking eyes out and I can't bloody wait. Also, look at this. All of these presents are for Michael. What I lack in affection, I make up for in my gift giving ability. I hope. Got a corn on the cob for my tea. Come on. Bows. Girls, I've got therapy. I need to leave, otherwise I'm gonna be late, but I'm so nervous. I haven't had therapy in two weeks, so I feel physically sick. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Girls, therapy done. I've been therapied. Woo! Three words lit, crazy movie. I love my therapist. Hello. Oh my God, my eye. Gunk. Oh, what the fuck? What the clock? I love my therapist so much. She's, oh my God, I look awful. Um. I look so bad! Oh my god! Wait, I'm gonna talk to you when I'm home. What the fuck? Girls, I've come to surprise Michael at work, but knowing me and my luck, I bet he'll be really fucking busy and I'll be stood there like a fucking limp biscuit. <laughs> we'll see. Go! Girls, I'm home! Went to see Michael, got a milkshake. So I'm here in success, succession. Woo! Sex? <laughs> Who said that? Speaking of sex, and my dire fear of it. Had therapy, girls. Sorry, I was gonna update you in the car, but sometimes you do get scared by your own appearance and you have to scream into your camera and turn it off. I don't make the rules, do you know what I mean? Um, had therapy, obviously it was my first therapy session in two weeks. And normally, like, I haven't gone more than, like, one week without having therapy. Um, so it was good, but it felt weird because I was like, oh, I don't know what to talk about. And then I realised, girls, fun fact, actually really, really sad fact, this time of year, like, literally, at, as we speak, is... Wait, how old are you? I'm one! <clears throat> oh, my God. I feel like my vagina has a pulse. And I'm scared every time it breathes, it's gonna breathe fire as in blood. Anyway, this time of year, like literally this time four years ago is when I met my really abusive ex-boyfriend. 
Yep, yep, but he didn't know I could see. Yeah, so I think under the surface, like below deck. God, how many fucking TVs can I get in here? What? How many TV titles can I merge into this little DMC? Not to make it a DMC. Delicious meaty cunt. But, um, but obviously like it is a hard time of year for a lot of people and it's not a hard time of year for me for any other reason apart from the fact that it's not even a hard time of year. Okay, that was so dramatic, but like obviously it's just a bit of a sensitive time of year, I suppose, because under the surface, like I guess below bubble away is the fact that like I'm aware of the fact that it's been now four years which is fucking insane it's been four years since all of that happened which maybe one day I'll do like a podcast episode and like tell you in detail about that relationship because so much happened like there is so much to go over and to process even now four years later I'm still processing it processing I literally felt inclined to say process and I just needed to process it I don't ask me about accent because I just don't know why they're a thing like how the fuck is someone who's like 20 minutes down the road. Well, that's such a lie. That's how. But like someone not that far away from me has a completely different accent. And why is it better than mine? And why is Timothy Chalamet's favorite accent the Hull accent and then the Essex accent. My boy, Timothy Chalamet has basically confirmed himself to be watching Towie because if he likes an Essex accent, where the fuck has he heard that from? The only way is up, baby. Anyway, that's that. But yeah, therapy was good. It was good to talk about it. Good to sort of delve more into the end. And also I sort of sp spoke about why it happened, which I never speak about. Like obviously why does any relationship happen? You think you like the person, but like the circumstance around the time, she was just asking me questions and I was like, Shit, this is some deeper level and it was good to think about it in that way but like it's so weird because obviously it was an awful thing that happened and I like I, I'm sad and I mourn the person I was before I met him and how I maybe would have been if I hadn't met him but I wouldn't change it now that I have it because it sounds so weird but I feel like when you've been in an abusive relationship and you get out of it you learn this like incredible like life-changing strength that you just you can i feel like you can only get it when you've been in a situation like that that you it takes everything in you and pretty much destroys you to get out of but then you have this like incredible strength from it and i'm so grateful for myself i'm gonna do a podcast episode all about like my like 2023 roundup my 2023 whapped if you will um imagine dragons imagine dragging these nuts across your face <laughs> sorry i need a little silent moment as punishment for that like genuinely if i was like sentenced to life with no talking i think i'd just kill myself because i just need to yap it's so good for me i have to yap life without yapping is a life that's not worth living but yeah i think this year i've learned well over the past few years especially since that fucking lame excuse of a man I've learned this new strength that I never knew I had. I thought I was the weakest person after we were done because I felt so hollow. Like I was talking about one of my worst attempts today and I was saying that like before I did it, I felt like so disjointed as a person. And when I was trying to heal from him, I felt so disjointed, like it felt like none of me fitted together properly. Whereas now I'm like learning to like get back into me and be me and just be okay with that because i think i had such beef with being myself for so long i was like oh i hate myself i don't want to be myself and it's like girl who the fuck else are you gonna be do you know what i mean like you can change your hair and you can change your clothes you can change your mind that's just the way it goes but you can't change who you are like fundamentally like this is your body not to like freak you out but like i i have to think about that so often like i'll be like oh my god i love her olive skin why am i so pale why am i an untop <laughs> Why am I an untitled document and then I'm like girl nothing's ever gonna fucking change unless you go into a fucking tanning bed and get skin cancer Do you know what I mean? Be fucking for real. Anyway about to have a bath and guess what? It's not really a depressed one. Yes it's, I'm about to start my period I'm scared I'm going to have a period shit at any minute. That's what kind of bath is. Especially after an Oreo milkshake. I'm surprised I didn't shit myself on the way home. God, listening to me must be bloody delightful. My hairdresser asked me who my dream brand deal would be. And I said Dr. Pepper, but I also realised it might be Radox. Because I get through so much of this shit all the time. I love a bit of Radox. I'm not even going to lie. Anyway, I need to go and take my clothes off. Sorry, you can't come. Girls. Oh. Don't want to flash you. I feel like that would be the worst thing in mankind to flash you my boobs. I don't even know if they're showing. I've just been laying on my bed watching like 20 part TikToks of EastEnders again. Woo! I literally said to my mum the other day, if you wanted to start EastEnders from the very beginning, you literally couldn't because there's so many fucking seasons and episodes like 1980s, 90s, noughties, 10s, 20s. Like it's been going on for 50 years or something. Nutty, but some of the acting in it is actually pretty good. Pretty good. 
Um, but yeah, it's now 25 past 11, girls. It's late. I need to go to bed. I've got work tomorrow. Bath, bath, bath. But what can you do? That's life. That's amore. I haven't vlogged much today. Apologies. Apologies. I've not really been doing much. I've just been editing. Saw my friend Lydia earlier, which was so nice. Oh my god, seeing her is like free therapy. And then I had paid for therapy, of course, today. I've had fucking shit tons. And I've been editing my vlog today. Therapy days are so weird. I find it so hard to like interact with people after. Like my mum and my dad and obviously Michael, like they all ask me after. They're like, oh, how is therapy? And it's like, I literally cannot tell you how it is because it's just such a weird feeling. Like the day just feels so weird after I've had therapy. <laughs> Like I've had it before where I'll go to therapy and then I go to like work after or I go to work and then I go to therapy and I just feel so like deflated after but not in a bad way in a way like I just have nothing left to give that day obviously I'm a professional yapper but after you yap about like trauma or like what's been getting you down it's kind of hard to yap anymore but like they say once a yapper always a yapper I find my ability to yap again but I do find it hard to talk about therapy like I don't really know what to tell people when they're like oh what do you talk about which obviously like is quite personal itchy bum sorry do I have a hair between my ass cheeks no obviously it's quite a personal question but i'm not like bothered by it like if someone's like oh what do you talk about in therapy i'm not like fuck you <laughs> i talk about you you fucking rude bitch like you know what i mean um it's just hard to describe it i literally just start off by talking about like how my week's been and then go from there but like i said this time of year is a weird time of year in terms of like processing all the things that happened four years ago and i had like a, i didn't cry in therapy it's shocking but i did have a little cry after because i was just listening to music because at the moment i've just stopped crying as much weird um really weird actually thinking about it because i'm also a professional crier all i do is fucking cry normally but i did have a little cry after because it's just crazy like i think the the part of it that like gets to me is like it will always be something that's happened to me i will always be someone that was abused <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like weird but obviously it doesn't take away anything from me and it doesn't change who i am as a person and i am i'm awful but i'm not awful i'm just me i'm just Maisie fl at the end of the day you know the 18 year old girl that used to get hit is not the 22 year old woman who is a boss yeah to be fair i was very close to crying it took like everything in me not to cry and i did it Woo! not that crying's a bad thing crying's a good thing especially during therapy fuck it feels so cathartic it's so it's got healing powers but anyway i should probably go to bed because nothing's worse than late night yapping and then watching it back being like what the fuck are you talking about but yeah i will see you girls tomorrow for vlogmas day eight ah! Oh! ah fucking hell I just whacked my nose with my ring i just picked up my skin absolutely like i've oh my god i've wreaked havoc on it it looks so bad but i need to get ready because girls i'm going out for lunch it's only half 10 but give me about an hour to get ready a bit of time to get there we're about 12 be about midday be about lunch time do you know what i mean i need to go to a cafe that i always go to with michael and george george michael because uh the food is fantastic to start with and also i need to take some pictures for a brand that sent me some products uh did those words just come out my mouth yes they did um and they want them with natural lighting which is obviously hard to get <coughs> bless me thank you my dr pepper tattoo is feeling crusty you know the the healing process of a tattoo it makes sense that it's like weird because obviously you've just penetrated your skin with ink but pfft, some oh i just scraped it oh some people won't get it some people i just know that when i wear a short sleeve t-shirt tonight at work i am gonna get comments on comment it's so it should be illegal the fact that i'm not allowed to tell people to fuck off when they annoy me like in my place of work but there we go anyway where was i going with that about natural lighting obviously natural lighting is fucking hard to come by this time of year isn't it girls so i need to go and do that today i've just tried to sort out my hair my hair is like not loving life at the moment it's so dry oh well i'm gonna get ready now see you in a minute i'm ready girls i fear i may have outslain myself today <laughs> no i actually do look scrumdiddly umptious but that's because i picked my skin so much so i've slapped it on there is about a metric ton of makeup on my face but that's the way i like it anyway let's do my advent calendar day eight four plus four eight 
I, part of me is like, well, I'm so excited for Christmas, we already know that, but like part of me is like in denial that it's even December. I'm just a bit like, hmm, no it's not. I'm really praying that Santa brings me that electric toothbrush because I saw a little, because I've been watching fucking episodes of fucking EastEnders on TikTok. I'm getting fucking called the midwife now, I'm making my way through. And I got Cory the other day as well. Um, My dad used to watch Coronation Street, which is so funny because he is like a serial soap hater. He would not, like my Nana loves watching the soaps and he he will not watch them but it's funny because my mum and dad like when they met they lived across the road from each other if my dad was like hanging around with my mum he'd be like oh i've got to go home now because cory's on i can't talk shit though about my dad because today when we go to iceland we buy like the multi-packs of dr pepper and he keeps them in his van and last night i was like can you take one out of your van before you go to work and he forgot to do it so he dropped it home for me what a man you know what i mean i can't chat shit like why am i the way i am i am my dad in a wig do you know what i mean oh that's beautiful thank you cadbury's have a magical Christmas. You can't even see that. Come on, don't be a cunt. Have yourself. The Christmas ads this year. Don't watch. Oh my God, it's another star. And I'm wearing my star jumper again. Of course I am. The minute I get a new piece of clothing, I will rinse and repeat until I find something new. Yesterday, me and my mum were watching I'm a Celeb. We were watching the end of it to see who left. Well, she watched all of it. And you know what? I started on a really good path this year. I was like, I'm going to watch every single episode. But obviously, I work at a fucking restaurant, so I work nights. Like I'm working till half eleven tonight. What was I made for? Not that. Do you know what I mean? Mmm, delicious bit of chocolate to line the stomach. Do you know what I mean? And the Asda advert come on. And Michael Bublé, and we all know that I'm loving Michael Bublé at the moment. My mum starts crying. She was like, oh, I just love Michael Bublé. Mm. <laughs> I can't say shit because I too love Michael Bublé, so she's valid anyway speaking of my teeth rotting i need to brush them yeah the episode of call the midwife that came on my for you page was this woman that had to have all of her teeth taken out because they were so rotten and every day i'm like i get really in my head about my teeth and then i look in the mirror and i'm like oh they're not that yellow it's fine to be fucking for real oh also in the advent that my mum did me today i got this little shower gel fruity well, hey, it's not June, but you know, I'm a lover all year round. Strawberry and raspberry, and it is fruity. Fuck me, I love the smell of that. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Sued for drug, you know what I like to hear. Anyway, my room is a mess. Who's surprised? Not me. But I need to go because Michael's whittering on. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. When did I ask? <laughs> what did you get in your advent? What? Oh. Oh. What did you get in your advent calendar today? Special what? one. What's happened yesterday? Oh, it's gone now. Sorry. No, no, no. I see. Oh, what was it? It was a. I can show you a picture. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um. Hey, handsome. You put them on your scissors so that people know you are only fabric to... only. Instead of me cutting my split ends today. Oh, I'll turn the sound up and get copyrighted. Cellulose head. Pins, tulip, thin. Yep. For slippery, thin fabrics. It is perfect tacking thin fabrics such as silk, thin cotton fabric, crepe, and lining material. Nice. And they are here. These are very pretty. But they are made in Hiroshima, Japan. In Japan. And they came in beautiful packaging. Look at them. How pretty are they? Would you like to see one close up? Yeah. Put your hand behind it so it focuses Don't on Don't tell it. me what to do. <laughs> okay. What bossing me about? I'm just trying to help. Well, don't need help. Don't you do, you need mental help. I've sold a car before. Sold a car? What are you talking about? Wow. They are super thin. Oh, <gasps> you ass. <laughs> Mash, what did you get? Oh wait, mum deprives you of your advent calendar because you don't want you getting chubby. He is not happy. Close your legs. Mash, what's this? Look, it looks painful. Why are you laying like that? On the road again, on the road again. One thing I always forget is that people are, oh fuck, people are constantly turning 17, right? So, oh, 
drive. Naturally, naturally that means people are constantly like the age to learn to drive. So my question is, how the fuck do we put a stop to that? No, joking, I'm just saying I forget that I was once a learner driver because it is so easy to be pissed off at learner drivers. Like I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that I'm the most patient person in the world. There's video evidence online of me being the least patient person in the world. Recently, I've just been like thinking about how many people must learn to drive and I just feel so sad for them because learning to drive was the worst time of my life like oh my god there are like so many top 10 moments that are like fucking hell can I go through anything more genuinely like can, how can one person absorb all of these happenings genuine question genuinely but learning to drive was hell on earth it got to the point that I would cry every time I had a driving lesson and beg my dad to just teach me how to drive and he was like no I can't teach you you need to be taught properly and I was like I I failed my test twice theory and practical it took me three times both both ends of the stick and fuck me I have been so careful ever since I will not even have a drop of alcohol in my system if I'm driving because fuck that the idea of losing my license and then having to do a driving test again makes me feel physically sick and when people are like yeah I lost my license I'm like how are you so nonchalant about that how could you just be so nonchalantly like I just don't understand because there's nothing nonchalant about losing your license having to go into one of them fucking wretched driving centres the people in there must hate their fucking lives because they are fucking mean I had one of them he tutted every time I did something wrong so I think he tutted 13 times because I think he gave me like either 11 or 13 because that's how many minors he gave me I was thinking that's how many minors you fucking tutted touch you nonce sorry i have no evidence if he was a nonce but i felt in the time that calling him a nonce was justified because he was so fucking horrible to me so yeah yeah sorry you're probably not a nonce you're probably a nice guy but and i get that you have to be strict but fuck me you made me feel like shit like you can already tell i'm nervous i'm sat hunched up like i'm riding a horse I feel like I've spoke about this before. When you're nervous and you're riding a horse, you sort of like sit forward and the horse can sense your nerves. That's what I do when I'm nervous and I'm driving on the motorway. Fucking hell, motorway driving. Not a bit of me. Not a bit of me. I hate driving on the motorway. Who genuinely enjoys driving on the motorway? That's my fucking question. Oh my God, this coat. Sit. I've had this coat three years. I'm sorry. Maybe call me fucking basic. Call me what you want. You know, call me by your name. Montero. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking comfy. As my mum said the other day, I was like, oh, I'm getting a bit hot. She was like, you've got a fucking 14 tog duvet around you. And I thought, valid. I do. Anyway, I'm off to... Yeah. Also, quick thing that no one's talking about, and I feel like it is a new pandemic that no one wants to admit. People that put ketchup on every fucking meal. If your ketchup is touching broccoli, you need to be seen by a psychiatrist. Don't understand it. But then again, I don't understand a lot of things. I'm not a smart woman, but I, speaking of ketchup, I'm going for lunch. And I can't decide if I want a full English without the meat. Obs. Don't eat meat, do I? Way. I'm not a meat eater. I'm a herbivore as such. I'm a fishivore because I do eat fish. I can't decide if I want a fucking full English, no meat version, or a jackpot. Jacket potato. Cheese beans and coleslaw. Oh, fuck me. I might have to get that. I'm pretty sure Michael said it's his treat as well. And if I get there and he's like, I never said that, I will start crying because I don't know if I can afford my phone bill this month. That is what I get for spending £50 on a jumper a few weeks before spending £500 on a day session of tattoos. I will never learn. Who fucking cares? Like I always say, I'm not going to buy a fucking house in this economy unless Lana Del Rey covered country roads take me home. Almost heaven. my car and i'm gonna be very honest i do not know if i'm allowed to park it where i have but and obviously i've got a bit of like trauma just parking it on any random road from the fucking the great smashing of 23 on my back windscreen but i don't want to fucking i don't want to fucking pay to park paying to park is such a fucking con so fingers crossed girls jesus christ i just uh, let's just fucking hope and pray george Say, it. say what? I was listening to this really cool band on the way here. Who? Imagine Dragon. <laughs> Imagine Dragon. Imagination Dragon. Fuck! <laughs> what so do you what? listen to music on? CDs? Yeah, CDs and that's your face. <laughs> oh my god, and I've only just gone to the skibbity toilet train. <laughs> Dragon. 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 D
the potato time. Oh, yours is coming. Mm. There's loads of different buses you can get. 453, 172. Uh, pussy888. <laughs> this man's taking pictures of my bum. Okay. You look like an OnlyFans girl. You look like someone that gets more bitches. Thanks. <laughs> Can you see that? That pizza place has its time as 11.30 a.m. till late. It's not a fucking house party. It should specify I, you know, I had a what pizza time for late that. is. I had a pizza there for Christmas Day last year. That is so depressing. I was then sat in there for about half an hour on Christmas night. <laughs> That is worse than when I went to Cobham Services to celebrate Christmas Eve in 2019. That's I was shit. so ill in 2019. Where were you, what were you doing at Starbucks? No, I had no job. I was with the um, one who shall not be named. That was happening a year ago. Not a year ago. Four. Fucking hell, four years ago today. Way. Cheers to that, girls. Cheers to being abused. I'm walking, I'm walking. <laughs> Excuse me, did I still skip a toilet? <laughs> Looks like you, George. <laughs> Does everyone say photo booth. Photo booth. <laughs> so cute. Me and two of my favourite people. Me when I lie. Where are we? Where are we? Boo boo. Oh. <laughs> Fucking get it. Christmas cups have launched at Mubu. Look at that. <gasps> and hanging it says Mubu. Boo. Ah. Okay, straw time. <laughs> Every time. I'll get to the most crucial bit of my was like, there you go. <laughs> Ready? Well, I'm fuck. Girls, I'm home. I've had my hair French plaited. How cultural. Um, it's because I've got work and obviously I have to wear it up, which is a fucking joke. It's a joke. I might put some ribbon in my hair. Ooh, I care, I care, I care. I need to par parcel up. What the fuck am I saying? I've got, I've not got long. I've got an hour till I need to go to work. Well, like I have an hour till I start work, but I go into work early, obviously to eat a bit of grub before I start. I am so tired, like I genuinely could fall asleep right now, which isn't good because obviously I've got fucking work and I need to pass package <laughs> package up i need to package up a vintage parcel and send that off as well so girls i've got multiple things to do but before i do anything that i need to do first i vlog so i went out lovely stuff had a bubble tea it was not a good bubble tea i'm really upset that it was just the popping balls were like michael said like the consistency of raisins oh i hate raisins any sort of dried fruit like that yeah get the fuck away from me anyway i bought this book because i've still got a fucking waterstones gift card in my advent the other day um it is japanese of course who's surprised my hair is so rigid my mum always does it so tight so it stays in but i like the i like the sort of loose look you know fucking get free get wild you know what i mean um yeah this is a book i saw it and it said tokyo and i was it's it's called the tokyo well it's called tokyo express um and it is a classic of post-war japanese crime fiction apparently i'm very excited to read it obviously you know me i love a japanese literature novel um and also, I just liked that it was quite short. Because obviously I'm a bit, uh, well, a bit of a reading stuff. I haven't read in fucking ages. So I just picked this up. The words are fucking tiny. That's like size eight minimum maximum even anyway i do need to go to work in a minute i'm gonna i'm literally on the verge of pissing myself i should probably brush my teeth i need to fucking send this vintage parcel it's all going on obviously times are tough so i'm applying more bronzer girls let's crack on whoa girls i'm ready for work obviously this is not my uniform but i'm not gonna subject you to that i'll see you after let's see what sort of mood i'm in i'm gonna predict a bad one <gasps> no Yes, Gaga, you look so good. Girls, I'm home. I've just got home. It's like 25 to fucking midnight. Taylor's version. Midnight's become my afternoons. She weren't lying when she said that. She wrote that for all the people that work at fucking hospitality who choose to keep their restaurants open till 11pm on Fridays and Saturday nights. Mush! He 
don't be jealous of his boogie. Do not be jealous of his boogie. <laughs> hey, bae. You're looking fuego. You're looking hot. Hi. Mash, are they jealous of your boogie? Oh, my God. I forgot to tell you. Last night, I was laying in bed trying to doze off thinking about Jake Gyllenhaal. No, I wasn't. Why did I say that? Just trying to get some Z's, you know, count some sheep, whatever. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Ah! Um, and Mash was on my bed, and as soon as I move a little bit when I get into bed, Mash is like, fuck this. He's gone, which fair play, he knows what he wants, and that's someone that doesn't move while they're in bed. It's almost as if it's like my bed or something. Anyway, I get into my bed, I move, so he jumps off the bed, goes to like next to me, so stands here so I can stroke him, so I start stroking him, and my face must have been super close to his because he just burped and it was fucking rancid. It was so disgusting. I literally cannot even put it into words. It made me feel physically sick. I thought he was about to shit on my carpet. I don't know if I've ever told you the time when he just started vomiting in the middle of the night and Michael had cleared it up for me and he was like, Maisie, Maisie. And I was like, what? I got so angry because I was like fast asleep and he was like, Mash is being sick. And it's like when you're a kid when you've like pissed to bed or you've been sick and you're like stood at your mum and dad's bed like at the end of the bed and you're like, mum, I've been sick. It was awful. Anyway, today, another tale, another fable in this story of my life of hospitality and my fucking, I just can't escape it. It took me so long to get to work because I had to drop off a vintage parcel and I then had to go through my normally 10 minute drive to work, which can vary because of traffic and I have to go over a bridge into the town and obviously that bridge is always busy because everyone's going into the town and it was like sort of between like school time and finishing work for the day. Um, There was a set of rail way gates so they were down so i was like oh i'll go the other way fucking temporary traffic lights hate them hate them i fucking hate them just fucking hire some elves to do the work in the middle of the night when no one's around because i'm fucking sick of sitting in it then to go over the bridge i went another way so i didn't have to sit in the temporary traffic lights but the bridge was basically gridlocked the whole way around because everywhere had traffic to get even over the bridge not even into the town center yet another fucking set of traffic lights so i get there i didn't have enough time to have some grub did i so i was already fucking fuming went into boots bought myself two little lint bears and a fucking rubicon mango on my boots card okay redeeming feature you thought you thought fucking wrong i then get to work obviously i had no time to eat my grub it's popping off at work okay it's popping off there just seems to be some weird like ibella in the air you know weird vibrations do you know what i mean it's sus but good people working i'm thinking let's keep this good vibes only i said I beg you do not put me on a section tonight. I said I physically, mentally, emotionally don't have the capacity to deal with people in that respect. I can I can deliver their food. I can take a couple of orders there, here and there. It's sparse. If I'm on a section constantly, I just oh, I can't do it. So they listened. God bless my manager who was working tonight. She's a legend. She's one of my favourites. She listened, right? Fantastic. I'm then working, having a couple laughs with the people I'm working with. Um, Someone literally, I said, and I quote, Maisie is on smoke tonight. More smoke than Thomas the Tank Engine. And I thought, you know what? I did not like Thomas the Tank Engine growing up, but I appreciate that because I was, I was dissing because I, I was getting dissed. So I was dissing back. Do you know what I mean? And then I had to close. So I already knew that it wasn't going to be good because I was tired. It got to like 7 p.m. and I was like, I have four and a half hours more of this also i had my break 40 minutes after i started because i was so hungry hungry i've got fake lashes on by the way these are my favorite lashes now these are from isla they're like the three quarter length lashes i think they're number eight i'm gonna buy some more but they're six pound 25 but i guess that's not bad because like you can get a few wears out of them and i think they look really nice like not full you know full light you know full light mash what you itching have you got flea no look at you why the fuck are your legs so far apart <gasps> he's sick of me genuinely i always look at him and i just think to myself say something say something say something. and he never does but i just think if he did say something he would tell me to fuck off and that would probably really upset me but he would have every right to because i piss him off yo anyway I'm, I'm bantering, I'm having a laugh, I'm having a giggle, I'm running the food. Then there's this customer. It's about half nine, right? He sat on one of the tables on his own and I literally just go up to him because he's been sat there for a while, like with no drink, no food. And I was like, hmm, sus. Went up to him and I was like, hi, like, have you ordered? And he just goes, yeah, I'm fine, thanks for asking. And I was like, okay. 
I was like, have you ordered? And he was like, look, um, can I tell you something? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he was like, are you a manager? And I was like, no. And I should probably warn you, trigger warning, they don't pay me to care. So whatever you're about to say to me, wholeheartedly, you should know. I don't give a fuck, okay? I didn't say that. I thought it. I thought it so much. And that's all I thought, the, the whole duration of the conversation, which wasn't even a conversation. It was just him barking at me i was like fucking hell what breed of dog are you yapping at me like that like i'm fucking going for it he was like look i'm i come here quite often and i was like good for you okay alexa play good for you by olivia rodrigo i was like yeah cool he was like and i don't know if it's like because i've come in later tonight or if your staff are struggling and i was like where the fuck is this going he was like but the he genuinely said the vibes in here are weird my man is like mid 30s maybe early 40s and i was like oh what do you mean and he was like you know i was sat over there pointed to this other table which we use those tables to like restock and clean at the end of the night he was like and i was asked to move here and i was gonna say because of that but he didn't let me finish and he didn't even let me fucking start i was like oh okay and then he was like, and then someone asked if I, they could take these sauces. And I was like, oh, and I was going to say, oh, they may have wanted to refill them because it's like getting towards the end of the night. But obviously I didn't have a time to fucking say anything. I think he would have fucking torn my leg off. Maybe that would have been a fucking reason to euthanize him like a dog when they bite someone. Wrong. Wrong. Stop euthanizing dogs. Start euthanizing humans. Anyway, bring back public execution. Sorry. Um, I was talking about who I would like publicly execute today my ex-boyfriend oh my god i would take so much pleasure in that anyway sorry so i was like oh okay and he was like you know normally i come in here and it's great service and i have her serve me and he pointed at someone i was working with i was like, oh yeah and he was like but today he was like i don't know what it is about you he was like all of your cus all of your employees just don't seem to have the time he was like and you know i'm a customer i wanted to be treated right i want a great customer experience he was like i'm paying for the food i'm paying you you're getting my money he was like you know what i don't even feel like eating it you know what i'm just gonna exit and i'm gonna come back another day and i literally was stood there the whole time like this did anyone else just hear that and then he gets up and he's like you know what i'm just gonna go and i was like oh, i'm really sorry you feel that way. he was like no you know i'm just gonna exit and i was like you fucking exit stage left then you fucking twat like what do you want me to do beg you to stay and i want you to stay i was like sincerely genuinely on my life i cannot tell you how little i care i care so little i couldn't even put it into words because i just don't care enough to do it and that was like right at the end of the night and then after that i was just like hmm maybe i do want to kill myself and then to make things even fucking worse i went to my car and i was like Oh my god, someone smashed my side window, like my passenger seat window. I was like, there's nothing there. So then I just tapped on the glass and obviously there was a window there. And I was just thinking, if that had been smashed, I genuinely thought, if those, if it, if that had happened, there were shards of glass on the floor, I would have picked one up and ended it all because I don't think I would have had it in me. And then I paid my phone bill today. I do not recall adding extra bolt-ons o2 but apparently i did i've got no fucking money and i've been given like barely any hours the past few weeks which is so funny because i'm not necessarily bad at my job like i'm not the most i'm not the fucking star employee i bring fun fresh nice face nice vagina you know i bring what i can so why am i getting 12 hours when i've been contracted 30 so when they say to me we want you to work New Year's Eve or because I just feel like they will. On New Year's Day, I'll say, look, babe, I love you, but I ain't staying here. And do you know what? I don't even love you. I don't, frankly, I don't really like you. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because you can't give me 12 hours on the lead up to the holy day to Jesus's birthday and then not let me fucking have New Year's Eve off the one day of the year along with my birthday that I choose to get absolutely slaughtered. No, it's not happening. Sorry. I need to take my makeup off, but I think I genuinely would rather die. Like sometimes I just lay here and think if the Grim Reaper from Sims came in right now, I'd let him have his fun. Hack away, mate. Do you know what I mean? Hack of the dog. Heck of the fucking frog. That's what my rainbow frog's called. I genuinely don't know what I'm talking about. I've been talking for 13 minutes. I couldn't tell you one thing I've said. So on that note, I'm going to take off my makeup and I'm going to go to bed. This vlogmas episode, I think, will be three days combined. Because I'm not uploading a vlog on a Saturday. 
that is a recipe for disaster girls so three days so i'll see you tomorrow but we'll still be in this vlog yay night night ah! what's on your plate cheese and chapati good morning morning has broken like the first morning and with that being said i feel like ass my nipples are so cold now it is freezing i've said that in every single vlog but it's so fucking cold and i i don't like it i'm not a big fan like the thing is i'm never happy though because in the summer i was like this is sweltering this is unbearable like i remember the day of my birthday party 9th of september 2023 a day in history if you will it was like 35 degrees it was fucking unbearable it was so hot but i can't even remember that and do you want to know what's funny is like funny not fanny by the way i hate the word fanny i hate the word I also hate the word titties. It makes me feel like physically sick. Anyway, when it was hot, I was like, and I do this in so many circumstances. When it's hot, I'm like, I will never take it for granted again when it's cold. Like when it's cold, I'm not even gonna wear a jumper just to appreciate how cold it is because it won't be this fucking hot. The minute it was cold, I was like, fuck this. I'm never taking the heat for granted. This is the exact same way I am when I'm ill. When I'm ill, I'm like, I cannot rock. <laughs> When I'm ill, I'm like, I cannot remember what it was like to be not ill. I'm so fucking ill. When I'm not ill, I'm going to appreciate every single day. And then when I'm not ill, I just live my life. And then when I get ill again, I'm like, fuck, I don't appreciate when I'm not ill. I think I think it's just mental illness now that I say it out loud. Anyway, I'm eating one of these fucking pasta and sauce sachets. Because I've got work at two. I'm so tired. I had the fucking... What's on your plate? I had the weirdest dreams last night. One of which was someone had sex in front of me. This guy who I have no idea who either of these people are, but I'm pretty sure that it's true that you can't dream of people that you've not seen in real life. Also, like once, also, why did I say it like that? Fucking hell. Made in Chelsea over here. No, made in the Surrey Hills. I always say the Surrey Hills. I'm not from the Surrey Hills. I'm from actually quite not a very nice part of Surrey. Not even not nice. Like, I... I, that sounds really like obnoxious because obviously all of Surrey is quite nice. It's quite a fucking wealth county. Um, but I hate, you know, never judge a book by its cover. Never judge a book by its cover when people are like, "Oh, you're from Surrey." I was like, "Yeah, I didn't choose to be." Also, there's like, there's rough parts of everywhere you go. So just hold your judgment, okay? Also, I remember finding out our house got flooded in like 2014, and, but. Like, every house on our road pretty much got flooded. And the front doors got changed, like, due to, like, repairs. And this house is one of the only houses that doesn't have, like, the same front door as everyone else. And I just spent my whole life not knowing what a council road was and what a non-council road was. So, I've lived on this road my entire life. Apart from the six months that we moved out when our house was flooded. That was fucking nuts. I ate so much, um, I ate so many bagels when we flooded. Because we had to, like, take all of our, like, supplies upstairs while we lived upstairs because there was like the fucking water came up to like here it was it was fucking nuts and i wasn't as tall i've not always been this tall girl so i was pretty short then fucking tried to canoe out of the house but we had a toaster upstairs and i just ate <laughs> cinnamon and raisin bagels and fun fact i hate both of those things alone i hate cinnamon and i hate raisins but together Bossed, bossed. <laughs> Cooking up a storm, as always. You know me. I just, I can't be bothered to work. Oh, fucking hell! Did not think that would happen. Um, but anyway. Oh, I, where I was going with that was about my dreams. So, like I said, apparently you can't dream of people that you haven't actually seen in real life. I once had a dream when I was in school, or maybe it was just after school had finished, and this was way before I'd ever self harmed because I used to think self harm was like so icky. Not in the way that. Like, people that did it are icky because hello um uh, my arms used to look like barcode but in the terms of like i couldn't imagine doing it like the idea of like doing that to yourself maybe for really sick but i think it's just like the idea of like a blade and blood because i've got a weak fucking stomach i saw a guy once have a fit on th th this bridge like over the bridge in london over the bridge there's many bridges but like it's a bridge from one side to the other <laughs> Like any fucking bridges. But basically the other side of the bridge was Westfield. It was like Westfield Bridge. And he had like a, a fit or a seizure. And he went up and he like his body turned and his whole ankle just broke. And you could see the bone. And I genuinely went so lightheaded. I had to eat so much Nando's after that because I was like, my stomach was so weak. I was like so lightheaded. It was nuts. And then before that, I genuinely wanted to be a paramedic. Like I go through like career paths. Like then like fucking nobody's business. And I don't even do them. I'm just like... Oh, 
I want to be a paramedic and then I'm like bitch be fucking for real be fucking for real like there's no I could never do that anyway that's not the point the point is before I even started self-harming I had this dream that I was at my friend who I'm not friends with anymore Nan's house and she was sat on the stairs and I was just covered in cuts like fresh bleeding cuts and I don't know like when I had that dream I thought okay ominous because you kind of have like I kind of predicted the future there I keep predicting the future in my dreams as well like I had a dream that someone nearly broke up the other day and then in real life they nearly broke up then I had a dream that someone I knew wasn't doing well I messaged them saying hey how are you doing and they said I'm not really doing very well and I was like this is weird anyway so hopefully I haven't just like fucking seen the future and this fucking couple have sex in front of me this couple had sex in front of me and then for some reason after they'd finished having sex i went to the toilet and i started bleeding and i was like oh my period's come so as soon as that dream was over like my body just woke up i went to the toilet and i was like oh my god has my period started it hasn't where the fuck is it do not worry there is no chance that we can have fucking round two of what we've already done but i am just a bit like where are you at and i know it's coming because my boobs are in agony and i had really bad cramps the other day um but that dream was so weird i just keep having such weird dreams and then I keep dreaming of my work and it's like leave me the fuck alone like leave me alone <laughs> why am I dreaming of my fucking job and then when I woke up today I was so tired because I went to bed at like nearly one yeah I went to bed at nearly one and I woke up at 8 a.m. Because my mum and dad have gone to Wales today to go and see a family friend, so I had to wake up to walk dogs. But I was like, there's no way I, because I thought it was really late, so I was panicking. And that was when I woke up from that weird fucking dream. Went to the toilet, my eyes have not been that bad in a while. They were just so painful, so sore. Itchy, gunky, disgusting. It was grim. I was fuming. And then I went back to sleep. And then I walked the dogs, but I was so worried because it was fucking pissing it down with rain. But, you know, winner, 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 corn roast dinner. Um, it stopped raining when I took them out. Oh, fuck. I don't even know how you're supposed to cook this. Five minutes. What time is it? Half 11. That's fine. I've got work at two. So I need to get ready after this. Someone asked if I was Scandinavian last night because my hair was in braids. What the fuck? Anyway, first Dr. Pepper of the day. I don't know if I had one yesterday, which is tragic. Luckily, I had like three other caffeinated drinks, but I'm actually genuinely so worried about my caffeine intake. But the thing is, I'm more worried about my obsession with Klarna. Well, not even obsession. I'm not obsessed with it because they keep being like an upcoming payment. And I'm thinking, girl, you've got to be having a giggle. I know I chose to do this, but there's no fucking way. Um, so Klarna is like my main one on the 2024 New Year's resolutions, which is not using Klarna. But we'll see how long that lasts. You know what? £120 or 40 quid three times. What would be great would just be being rich. I think that's the solution take me tablets haven't taken them in a couple of days classic i think you're supposed to take them with water but bottoms up <sighs> never gets easier <laughs> hey i'm home from work i've been to work since i've last seen you i got ready i went to work and now i'm home and i feel slightly like i might die the reason i say that is because i am so tired also i took my hair out of these french plaits i've had them in like two days and one night to talk in hotel terms and i think it looks really fucking nice like i might do it a little bit more often because it's just a bit fun isn't it and it's quite easy apart from the fact that i have to get my mum to plait my hair because i never learned how to french plait like i want to be a girl mum so bad if i have kids um but what was i gonna say <laughs> this is awkward but i don't know how to fucking plait hair so i'll have to learn that before i get get to that point but you know hopefully my period's gonna come girls there's literally no chance i can be pregnant genuinely this time genuinely so i think she's just taking her sweet time fucking kind of huh? anyway time to do me advent i haven't done it all day you can tell my priorities aren't fucking straight can't you that is not like me i'm so tired i'm like i'm genuinely fighting to keep my eyes open at this point number nine do not rip do not rip if you rip that might just be the end of you and me okay give a christmas hug in this climate no way oh it's a little gingerbread man oh his face isn't very clear. Mmm, delicious. Oh, and in today's advent, the one that my mum does, I got this little um moisture bomb. <coughs> Fucking hell. Moisture bomb eye sheet mask. 
I'm so tired. I get, again, tonight I wasn't on a section. I was just running, like, food and drink. Even that has worn me out. Like, luckily, I didn't really have to deal with anyone because I just, it wasn't me. And we were understaffed by five people. Like, when you say that out loud, how redonkulous does that actually sound? Five people didn't come in. Insanity. Girls, th this sort of, like, working lifestyle. I'm not sure it's for me. Also, my room, again, guess what it is? A fucking tip surprise surprise it's just when i'm not feeling it all up here everywhere else including my body gets to feel it as well which is not good not good and not right to be honest just disturbing like this room is a little bit disturbing when i look at it close up Ooh. anyway i think if i if they ever said to me if it was like life or death you you have to find out what is doing well inside your body what is functioning what's not what you have to give up do your teeth need a thousand fillings and a whole new set because of how much dr pepper you drink or you die i just die i just die because a life without dr pepper is not a life i want to live and with that being said i hope you enjoyed <laughs> this episode of vlogmas and i'll see you in the next one bye love you yeah.